Dealing with black hats is one of the most common questions I get over on TikTok and I feel like we need to talk about it. Hi, my name is Yurai and I am the Skincare Stan. We will talk about all things acne, skincare and self-confidence. I have been dealing with blackheads for the most part of my life. Even before I got cystic acne, I have been dealing with them. And with blackheads, the one key thing is being persistent. Blackheads keep popping up. If you have blackheads, you're most likely going to get them again and again during your lifetime. However, there are things that you can do to keep those blackheads under control. For me, it has been quite a journey of finding a way to get them at bay. However, for you, we might speed up that process if we work together. First, let's see if you truly have blackheads because I've seen a lot of people who come to me and they're like, I have blackheads, I need to do something to get rid of them. Then I take a look at their skin and realize what they have is not even blackheads. It's something that people very often mistake with blackheads. And that thing is called sebaceous filaments. Sebaceous filaments is something that looks and acts suspiciously similar to blackheads. They are most often found in the same areas on your face, most likely your nose, maybe your cheek area, or even on your chin. However, they are not blackheads. They are something that is genetic and that is actually a healthy part of your skin. However, blackheads, on the other hand, are a type of acne. When you have a blackhead, it means your pore is clogged. And that is something that we should be dealing with, right? We don't want it to get inflamed. So how do we differentiate between blackheads, which is a type of acne, and sebaceous filaments, which is something natural that occurs on our face? First of all, sebaceous filaments are a little bit grayish on the color scale, while blackheads are most often like really dark black. Also, if you go over your nose like this, you're going to feel texture when you touch blackheads. For while sebaceous filaments are really flat with your skin and you shouldn't be able to feel them on wherever area you have them. Now, how do we deal with the first and how do we deal with the second? I would say the most important thing to learn when it comes to blackheads and sebaceous filaments is thoroughly cleaning your face. And I don't mean cleaning it more often because that could cause more damage than good. I mean using the right products to really get a great clean once at the end of your day. I am a huge fan of the double cleanse method and I really believe that this method can help people get a overall cleaner complexion because it is a gentle way of really reducing the amount of excess sebum and getting rid of all that SPF and makeup at the end of your day. I found that a double cleanse method has really reduced the amount of blackheads and even reduced the appearance of my sebaceous filaments with prolonged use. The key with double cleansing is being gentle and I think I found a combination of products that works perfectly if you want to do a really gentle double cleanse. First, I use the Oat Cleansing Balm by The Inculus. It is their iconic product that just does a great job of oil cleansing while keeping your skin calm. After that, I go in with Banish, uh, their mint cleanser. It is actually called the All Clear Mint Cleanser. And this one is so soothing, cooling, and gentle. You know, water-based cleansers can sometimes be a little bit too stripping, especially if they have like really harsh surfactants like SLS. However, this one is formulated in such a way that you can use it daily or even two times a day without overly stripping your skin or feeling dry. The second thing to use to keep those blackheads in check is using a beta hydroxy acid or a BHA. Use salicylic acid, which is probably one of the more famous blackhead fighting ingredients. What can a BHA do for you? BHA is the only exfoliating acid that can actually penetrate your pores. It actually can penetrate deep inside because it is an oil soluble acid. For me personally, I love using Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. This one is really like 
TikTok famous, but I think for very good reason. Like this product has been on the market for a very long time. And when it comes to blackheads, I really think it's the one product that everyone should own. I really like this one by Typology because it has like a really nice gentle texture and it also has zinc in it so it works pretty good for keeping those blackheads away. So if you're going to go in with a strong exfoliator I do recommend that you always have a product nearby that's going to help in case your skin gets a little bit irritated or a little bit red because we all go there. Sometimes we just overuse a product and we need a little help. Whenever I go a little overboard with strong actives like salicylic acid or AHAs, I use this. Uh, it's called the Fighter Gel by Banish and it has really calming uh, ingredients like centella, green tea and aloe which help your skin recover and it helps uh, balance the barrier of your skin and it helps it cool down. So what are some of the most common reasons we get blackheads? Well, first thing I would say cosmetics. You have to make sure you are cleansing properly. We already went over that with the double cleanse method. Second is using any product that is designed to completely seal in moisture. While those are really great for drier skin types, on the areas where you have blackheads, it also traps in excess sebum and dead skin cells. Another problematic thing can be heavy sweating. So if you're going to the gym or just working out at home, make sure to gently cleanse your face afterwards. Another thing is high humidity. In high humidity areas, we just produce more sebum. And while that is great for drier skin types, in case of blackheads, it can really make them worse. So if you're living in a high humidity area, you could try introducing a cinnamide serum or to keep that sebum production at bay. And another thing we have to know is how do we even get those blackheads? How do they come to be on our skin? Well, it comes down to the way our pores work. Sometimes they get clogged, sometimes they don't. However, in the case of blackheads, our pores do get clogged and there forms a so-called dark acne lesion. And thanks to the melanocytes inside of them, they have a black appearance. They come out looking really dark. They are especially common during puberty or menopause because of hormone changes, but it really isn't the rule. Anyone can have blackheads. Some people are just genetically more predisposed to having them and then have to deal with them their entire life, like me. <laughs> However, when talking about blackheads, there is always one word that kind of sticks out and that's sebum. A lot of people are like, oh, I don't need sebum. Uh, it's going to cause blackheads. And then they over strip their face. They use so many acids and overly stripping agents on their face to get, and they end up completely wrecking their own skin. And that's obviously not their goal. They never want to do that, but it happens. I see so many people using salicylic acid two times a day and then using a really harsh stripping cleanser and obviously their skin's barrier becomes completely disbalanced and a lot of skin issues come to fruition. So if you're going to use stuff like salicylic acid on your face, please make sure to only use it twice or three times a week. There's really no need to over exfoliate your skin. You're only going to get worse effects. So at the end of the day, I just want you to remember that even if you have blackheads or visible sebaceous filaments, it's really not a big deal. Like people are not going to come in and stare down your pores and count how many blackheads you have. The only person doing that is probably you. So next time you look in the mirror and start freaking out about that, just try to remember that you have healthy skin, you have beautiful skin and that your skin is protecting you and giving you a chance to live this wonderful life. So. Don't freak out about it. Use a little salicylic acid, do a double cleanse, and breathe. Blackheads are really not the bane of my existence, and they shouldn't be of yours.